Day-long nightmare for drivers. Earlier this week, gridlock caused by a jackknife big rig on the Bay Bridge lasted well into the evening commute. So if one accident can shut down the city's traffic, what happens in a real emergency? KPI X5's Emily Turner put that question to emergency planners. Emily? Yeah, that's a big question because you and I can both remember Wednesday's frustration level. It was very high, but imagine adding to that a layer of panic and terror in the event of an evacuation or a major emergency. We wanted to ask these emergency officials, what then? Two bridges, two major roadways, and a ferry system. When it comes to getting into or out of San Francisco, that's it. So a day like this, Dr. Erwin Redliner of the Center for Disaster Preparedness says is a wake-up call. Hard-nosed analysis and open, frank discussions with a lot of transparency about what actually happened will need to uh, transpire. Now. But we found that isn't happening, at least not yet. Neither SFPD nor the CHP answered us when we asked if they were doing a debrief on the accident. SFMTA says they will be bringing it up for discussion at their regional meeting on Monday. At City Hall, not a single official was available to talk on camera, but we did ask the Department of Emergency Services. This should be a wake up call for you guys, is it? Well, we're awake. This is something that we plan for and that we look at, uh, you know, every day. The Department of Emergency Management will be testing what's called a priority route exercise next year. It mimics the fallout from Wednesday's transit breakdown and will emulate an emergency when debris or cars block one of the city's priority routes. In the event that we have a closure of a major thoroughfare, we can actually, we actually have, we have a plan that we've exercised to figure out how do we quickly clear the roadway so, so first responder assets can come in and then we can, uh, we can, we can respond effectively. And actually, just before we went to air, I got a text message from SFMTA. They're not going to be tackling this at their meeting next week. They'll be tackling this at their MTC meeting in February. So there are a lot of promises, a lot of plans down the road for the city and emergency officials to work on this, to talk about this. But as of yet, nothing actually tangible has come from Wednesday's gridlock. Guys. So, Emily, for, for the sake of argument, let's just say what happened the other day is, is sort of a minor hiccup. Worst case scenario, I'm thinking, is going to be much worse in terms of trying to get everybody out of the city. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's important to know two things. One is, because it's going to be such a nightmare, in most cases, with the exception of perhaps an earthquake or a tsunami, evacuations are not the tactic that the emergency operations center is going to use and said that is a shelter in place order. However, if by some stretch of the ima imagination, God forbid, we all had to get out of San Francisco, our expert estimates that it would take three days to have a non chaotic evacuation really of any major metropolitan area because you have to move uh, to the more vulnerable populations all the way down to hospitals. And so that would take three days. So you can imagine just how improbable that is.